welcome back to the Moran family. So today's video is going to be a little different. It's going to be all about caterpillars and butterflies. You guys know I am a homeschool mama of two. So since it is summer vacation, I figured we can do like more hands-on projects. So I actually placed a Amazon order to get like caterpillars and a butterfly garden. I'll have everything linked down below if you guys want to check it out. This video isn't sponsored by any means, but I figured it would be a really cool project. The girls, especially Aurora, has been really obsessed with the hungry caterpillar, so I figured why not get our own caterpillars, grow our own butterflies. So that's what today's vlog is, so I hope you guys enjoy it. What are we looking at, girls? We're looking at our caterpillars. Caterpillars? Let me see. Mm -hmm. Wow, how many are in there? Five. Five, Five six, caterpillars? Seven, <laughs> eight, nine. You silly, it's they're seven. giant. So I totally spaced and forgot to show you guys our caterpillars a while ago because we've actually had them for six days now. And when we got them, they were super tiny, but now they're giant. I swear they double in size every single day. It's crazy. And it looks like they're getting ready to start making their cocoons as well. Because I don't know if you guys can see that in there. Yeah. But, but that wasn't in there the other day. Yeah, it's like the little string. Yeah. I think they're making it right now, Mama. Mm-hmm. So we actually got this off of Amazon. I thought it would be a really cool like learning experience for the girls. So inside the box it comes with pretty much just the enclosure only. And then there's also a voucher inside. So you go online like on the website for the voucher and then the voucher has a code. The caterpillars are technically free, but you have to pay $7.95 for shipping for the caterpillars. Enclosure also was pretty cheap as well. I'll have all of this stuff linked down below, and then I'll also put the website for the caterpillars down below because they have other things on the website too, like ladybugs and stuff. Mm -hmm. So I might do that one next with the girls. I'll take you guys through the process because this is my first time doing this with the girls too. So that's what they look like for now. What do you think about them, Marie? Yeah. Do you like them? Oh, so it's cool. day seven, and all like of the, the caterpillars, <laughs> except for that I one, I got you, I got you, really. are on the lid, and it looks like they're getting ready to form their chrysalis. Well, this one's the only one that looks like it's wrapping itself in. Yeah, currently mm -hmm. it looks like he's doing Wait, it right that now. Wait, that one too. Ones, <laughs> the other ones look like they have some on them already. Yeah, this one right here. It looks like he's starting to form it. I think that one is too. Yeah. So it's day eight now. And this one they have covered. started to form their chrysalis. So if you see this one right here. The body. Yeah, it's already started to form the chrysalis around itself. I call it ice. I almost caught it because on seven day that night I said it might be halfway. Mm -hmm. and I was right. So four of them have started, and our fifth one is down there. So I'm not really sure what? if he's just like behind in the process yeah, or what. On seven day he was still there. Yeah, he was um, down there the entire day yesterday. So. I'm gonna have to just keep an eye on them, but they look good. So update on day eight. Three of them are now starting to form the chrysalis. Let me see where you... So this one is the one that started this morning. And then now this one yeah. has started and then the one in the back started. Yeah, and then now one. the fifth one that was at the bottom is now at the top with them. So maybe that one will start. Day nine update. All of the caterpillars are in their chrysalis now. This one fell down a little bit. So whenever we take the lid off and we go to transfer them, we're gonna have to just be extra careful with him. But I'm gonna give them about like three days so that way they can harden. And then I'm probably going to have Benny transfer them. Oh, mm -hmm. I was not aware of this. <laughs> I'm nervous to do it. Oh, well, it your and they creep me out a little bit, so you're gonna do it. 
because whenever we go to transfer them, we have to take off like all of the silk and the webbing and clean them off a little bit. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna let them finish their transformation a little bit, wait until the chrysalis hardens, and then we'll see you guys back in a few days when we go to transfer them. Are those their faces or their butts? <laughs> I don't know. You're talking about the end part? Yeah. I think it's their ends because when before they like went into their transformation, their faces were down. Those look like eyes. It kind of does, huh? I was looking at that one today and it looks like the face, but I don't know. I don't think so. I'm not I'm not a scientist or nothing. But some of them have like ends out. I don't know if you guys can see that. And then which one is it? Oh, it's this one. Sorry. This one all the way right here. I don't know if you guys can see that, but that one is completely in it. And then all of the other ones have like their ends out. So, so. the other one's special or is that supposed to happen there? Well, I don't know. We have to just wait and see. Okay, so it's been a few days. So now it's time to switch our caterpillars into the butterfly garden. Whoa, look at them. I don't want them to fall. Yeah, you just have to be really careful. You gotta take this stuff off them. Yeah, I know. I want them this way though, right? Yeah. And then one of them actually, actually fell down, so he's still in there. So we're gonna have Oops. to carefully Sorry, we're gonna have to carefully get him out. Cause it says get a paper towel, put it on the bottom of the butterfly garden, and then we have to lay that one carefully on the bottom. Cause we're not gonna be able to reattach him. So how am I supposed to get him out? Be careful, mama. Do I get him with a spoon? Yeah, you have to go get a spoon. Yeah, I, I think I cleaned them off good. I don't know. See, really he fell cool. down there. Yeah. I think he fell down because the last caterpillar that we were waiting on to turn into his chrysalis, he kept bugging this one and he kept crawling on it. And, and tapping they it. do a defense mechanism where if they feel like they're in danger, they shake all crazy. So that guy he kept shaking all crazy because the fifth caterpillar kept crawling on him. All right, time to put them in. Hopefully I don't drop them. See, be careful, oh. Daddy. Got careful. There they go. Do I have to put them next to the net? Or in the middle? I think that's fine right there. But where are we going to put the butterfly net? Mm -hmm. I want to take the littlest one in the world. Put them down. Oh, that was my There they are. Okay. Rolled back over towards that way. Oh, yeah. I think you'll be okay. Reset. They're going to turn into butterflies. Okay. We got to wait Daddy a little bit. It? Mm hmm. So we'll see you guys. Back in about a week. Hopefully I can catch them coming out. We just woke up, it's early, and we came to check on our chrysalis, and one of them has emerged. That one right there on the floor. He's right there. Woo, our first butterfly. Yeah, that's our first one. How cool! It's fun. Oh. It does <laughs> have its colors, right, Mama? Yeah, his colors will change. Cool. He has like little Do you guys see that one? There's none in that one either. So where's the other butterfly? Wait, what? <gasps> He's on the back side. There's two butterflies. Look! Oh, what the heck? He was hiding! Can't yeah, I was staring at them and I was like, wait a minute, that one's empty too! There's two! You see them on the back right there? Oh, yeah! It wait. came out overnight! That means well, I'm gonna have to keep a close eye on these ones. Because they look like they're ready too, because big. these two, 
That one's probably the fifth one, if you guys can see that one, because his color looks different. He still looks light, but these two over here look really dark. Why is that one black? Those I ones are ready to Yeah, to I think they're out, ready to come out. You guys, we totally missed it again. I literally was just showing you guys how two butterflies came out, and it hasn't even been maybe like 20 minutes, and we have a third butterfly. So there's that guy right there that I showed you guys. And then that, that guy in the back. And now yeah, there is one. another one. We have three butterflies. Now there's only one more left. <laughs> yeah, we're going to have to keep a close eye on that middle one right there on the lid. Because that one looks like he's ready to come out as well. Yeah, there's a lot of them, huh? Yeah. Now we have two more that we gotta wait for. Yeah, whenever they all come out, we can use a little dropper and yeah, feed them, okay? You see that one, guys? You could like see it and make it. on one of them. We're yeah. For. Oh. Yeah, and Layla was just saying how the one that we're waiting on that looks like it's gonna come out today, you can already see the wings inside of the chrysalis. butterflies are finally out so we're going to feed them today so I just cut up some oranges and then I did what the instructions said I just got a cup of water and then I mixed three teaspoons of sugar come on bud <laughs> oh. there he goes and then you gotta take oh. out the paper towel too and then I'll go get their food He's on it. Stop! It's empty. Empty. Oh. So you guys are going to each put a little bit of drops, okay? Both I of want you. It. You just squeeze the back a little. And then let it go, and then you should have And then some you in drop there. it on the orange. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now Rory's turn. Okay, now Rory's turn. Oh boy. Squeeze it, Roy. Squeeze, Roy. No, up here. You gotta squeeze this part. Squeeze. <laughs> yeah, this good. I don't think there's any more in there. You gotta get some more. I think I use all. That's sugar water. There's sugar in there. Can we drink some of it? <laughs> no. Okay. It's literally just water and sugar. Eat. Look, so now they're gonna eat it. Okay. Say, so here's some food. Excuse Help. me, guys. <laughs> and gals, I don't wanna crush you guys. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there you guys go. There you guys go. Mm -hmm. They're crawling up. Today is officially our last day with our butterflies. It's kind of bittersweet because we've had them since they were little baby caterpillars. Oh, girls, it's a little bit yeah. sad. So before we go outside and we release them, I printed out some worksheets for the girls. I just Googled like the type of butterflies that we have and then I just like wrote like worksheets for children and then these are like the first two that popped up. So the first one that I have for them is just about the butterfly life cycle. So it's kind of just a recap on their life cycle, everything that we learned about, you know, from the beginning of their life all the way until butterflies. So I have that one for them. And then the next one is just a coloring page. So it tells the girls like where to color them and which colors to use. So that way they look just like our painted lady butterflies. So I'm gonna have the girls work on these and then it's 
officially time to say goodbye to our butterflies. I have two worksheets for you, okay? So here's your crayons. Okay. Whoa. And then let's work on this one first, okay? Okay. So this is the butterfly's life cycle. Do you remember how they start off? They're a caterpillar. Look, first, they're eggs, right? Yeah, they're eggs. Look, first they're tiny little eggs on the leaf. You see the eggs, Rory? Where are the eggs? They're like our hungry Good caterpillar job. book. Mm -hmm. It's like yeah. our hungry caterpillar That's book. And then what happens when they come out of the eggs? They're caterpillars. They're caterpillars. Where's the caterpillar, Rory? Good job. And then what happens after a while? They turn into a cocoon. They go into the chrysalis. Chrysalis? That's mm -hmm. what it's called? Yes. Chrysalis. It's like a cocoon. Where's the cocoon, Roy? Where's the cocoon? Where is it? It's this no. one right here. You see, yeah. remember how the caterpillars turned into this? The chrysalis? Yes, and then the next one after that is beautiful butterflies. Yeah. I pull into your driveway, it's a Saturday night You look like a million bucks wearing that dress I like You're smiling but there's something missing in your eyes Girl, I can tell that you have something on your mind But I will make you forget all your sorrows So good. Where's yours, Rory? Can I see your paper? Where'd you put yours? Can I see it, Mama? <laughs> so this one is Layla's. Very pretty. I love your caterpillar. He looks like our very hungry caterpillar over there. Wow! Good job. We can save these and show them to Daddy later, okay? So here is what our butterflies look like before we release them. They're actually eating right now. So like we showed you guys a couple days ago, we've just been giving them a new orange every day and then we've been putting a bunch of drops of the sugar water. It's time to release the butterflies. Ooh, it's perfect weather to release them. 